basic geometrical ideas. In this module, you will learn about the topic basic geometrical ideas. Geometry is a branch of mathematics which gives us the idea of various shapes and figures. Basic geometry is the study of points, lines, angles, surfaces and solids. If you like playing with objects or like drawing, then geometry is for you. Let us understand it in details. Point or a dot is, is not new to us. You must have seen Rangoli design drawn using points. As soon as a pencil touches the paper, a point or dot is formed. A point is smaller than a tip of a pencil or a pen used by us. Therefore, it has no length, breadth, height or thickness. A point indicates a definite position. The dot itself is not a point. Usually, a letter of the English alphabet is used to denote a point. Here, one point is denoted by letter A and other by letter B. Two different points are called distinct points. Observe the given figure. As the space between the points decreases, they join to form a line. That is, line A is a set of points closely arranged without gaps. Mark a point A and B on a paper. Draw a line touching both using ruler. This is a straight line. Put an arrowhead at each of its end. The figure thus obtained is called line AB. It can be denoted by line AB. The line AB is of infinite extent on both ends. It can have infinite number of points like X, Y, Z, P, Q, R on it. Line AB can be expressed as line L. It can also be expressed as line XY, line AZ, line PR and line PQ. Lines can also be denoted by small case letters such as L, M, N, P, Q, etc. In this figure, you will see that from a point X, Infinitely, many lines can be drawn, such as L, M, N, O, P, Q. But there can be one and only one line passing through any two distinct points, P and Q. Now, for a line, if we fix any one end of the line at a point and extend the other end infinitely, then it is called a ray. That is, if we mark point A and B on paper and from point A starts drawing a line passing through B till infinite, then this line is called a ray AB. It is denoted by In this figure, there are infinitely many points A, B, C, D, E on ray XY. Now, in ray XY, X is initial point for ray YD, Y is initial point. Now in line AB, here point X lies between A and B. And ray XA and ray XB are parts of line AB. That is, a ray is a part of a line. Also, XA and XB are opposite rays to each other. If a sheet of paper is folded and then opened, the folded part represents a line segment. Or if we trace an object on a paper like a matchbox, the outline of each side gives the idea of a line segment. That if we draw two points A and B on a paper and join them with ruler, we get a straight line with two distinct endpoints is said to be a line segment AB. Every line segment has two endpoints and is denoted by line segment AB. It can also be written as line segment BA. The distance between the two end points of a line segment is its length. The length of AB can be denoted by AB. Example, AB equals to 4 cm. That means the length of line segment AB is 4 cm. It can be measured using 
A ruler. A line segment is a part of a line and a ray. As shown here in line AB, line segment XY on line AB is a part of line AB. Also, point C, D are on line segment XY other than X and Y and there are infinitely many points on the line segment. And we say it as points X and Y are the end points of line segment XY. Observe a page of your book, wall of your house and top of table. You can see a surface, right? A surface has length and width, but no thickness. It can be flat or curved. Example, surface of wall is flat, while the surface of a cricket ball is curved. Now do you know what a plane in geometry is? It is a flat surface with length and width and no thickness. When a straight line is drawn through any two points on a plane, the line entirely lies in the plane. That is, a plane is a surface which extends indefinitely in all directions. Observe these straight lines. Some are touching each other and some do not. Two straight lines are said to be parallel to each other if they lie in the same plane and do not meet when produced on either side. In this figure, we see that line AB and line CD do not meet each other. Therefore, we can say AB is parallel to CD. It can be denoted as the symbol for parallel is Examples of parallel lines are a railway track, two opposite edges of a notebook, etc. The two straight lines lying in same plane and are not parallel to each other, then they are called intersecting lines. The figure given here shows two lines AB and CD, which are not parallel. Such lines either intersect at a point O, or will intersect at a point O when produced. Examples of intersecting lines are hands of a clock, the letter X, scissors, etc. Now, if two lines in a same plane intersect each other forming a right angle between them, then these lines are called as perpendicular lines. In the figure, we see that line AB is intersecting line CD at O forming angle of 90 degree between them. It can be written as AB perpendicular to CD. The symbol for perpendicular is Examples of perpendicular lines are flag posts, cell phone tower, tall buildings are all perpendicular to the floor, etc. Let us learn more about points and lines. If three or more points lie on the same straight line, then these points are called as collinear points. Here the figure shows that points A, B, C and D all lie on the same line. Therefore, they are collinear points. While in this figure we see that points P, Q and R do not lie on a straight line. So these points are called as non-collinear points. We know that two non-parallel lines intersect at a point. If a third line is drawn passing through the same point, these three lines are said to be concurrent. That is, two or more lines passing through a point are called concurrent lines. The point through which the lines pass is called point of concurrency. Here lines A, B, C and D are passing through a point O. Therefore, these lines are said to be concurrent lines and O is said to be the point of concurrence. We saw that two lines are said to be perpendicular to each other if they contain an angle of 90 degree between them. But for a line segment, the line passing through its midpoint and perpendicular to it is called its perpendicular bisector. In the figure here, line segment AB is given, whose midpoint is at point P. Line MN is given perpendicular to line segment AB and passing through point P. There we can say that line MN is perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. 
Similarly, if one line segment is perpendicular and passing through the midpoint of other line segment, then the first line segment is called the perpendicular bisector of other line segment. Also, every line segment has a unique perpendicular bisector of it. Let us revise all that we learned in this module on basic geometrical ideas.